Welcome to Shri and Kira Live, the voice of passionate action, bringing fresh perspectives and timeless wisdom for today's shifting paradigm. Now, it is your moment to open your mind, relax into your body and spirit as we explore the greater meaning of your now experience. Bringing wisdom, laughter, and clarity, here are Shri and Kira. Namaste, beloved ones, and welcome to Sri and Kira Live. I am wisdom teacher Sri Ramka. And I am Master Lady Kira Ra, welcoming all of you to this truly extraordinary Sunday service. And thank you for being here right now. And, you know, before we go any further, Sri, especially for all of you that this might be your very first time enjoying our Sunday services, please know just a few things. Number one, this Sunday service is for you. It is a time for us to gather. It is a time for us to celebrate. It is a time for us to link arms and remember that together we are better, right? So thank you for saying yes to Positive Shift because as visionary facilitators, that's what Shri and I are all about, is assisting the positive shift. So thank you for saying yes to your mastery. So in addition to saying yes to your mastery, if you're with us live, which is every Sunday at noon Eastern time, make a note and join us. If you're joining us live over at YouTube, official Sri and Kara, Jess Jutinen is in that chat, uh, along with Dana's probably in there, maybe Kyla, some other people that are from here in Tosa Blue Mountain. However, Jess will relay any questions that you might have in real time for Sri and I as we are moving through, wow, 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 this moment. So grab your beverage, sit back, get Enjoy. ready. Woo! It's a big <laughs> one today. Let's just take it one step at a time. And I'm going to start with, with a sip of my my beverage, as a matter of fact. I will join you. Let's all have a moment of Let's silence. Let's all have a sip of a beverage. There we go. All right. Mm. So excited to be here with you now. And so, beloved ones, bring a hand to your heart. And as we settle into the moment at hand, let us first remember that May is a double prime month of our infinite presence in its mirrored form calling forward birth. Mm. So Sri, as for many, today is celebrated as a day of Mother's Day. Uh, we wanted to take a moment and, and really expand the, the birthing that is right now. And that in this birthing, I think it transcends just the definition of, of a limited term of mother. Absolutely. Because... And I am a mother myself. I do feel qualified to make this statement. So there's my disclaimer. Go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's important to recognize that we all are birthing. Yes. We all are creating. And I don't wish to pull anything away from... No, but I do want to pull your attention. Can you guys hear what's happening right outside our studio? Baby birds are chirping. Listen. You hear that? We cheep, 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 cheep. So I just, I just, I mean, we did not, I mean, I, we know that we've seen a lot of baby birds. Yesterday we saw a whole flock of condors with babies, which was insane, so rare. Oh, wonderful. Um, so I just wanted to comment as yeah. you were going forward, Sri, I felt that for all of you, we should all embrace the fact that these beautiful baby birds are saying, yes, yes, pay attention, feed me. The babies want to be fed and we are all the babies right now. That's the gift, right? Well, yeah, and, and what yeah. we're inviting is the recognition that we are beyond our roles. Oh, gosh, yes. We are beings, human beings. So beyond our roles, before you go any further, I don't want you to just skim right over that because there's people that I got didn't understand that. So so when Sri is sharing we are beyond our roles, what he's saying is the limitations of the perception of that which would seek to limit you. Yes. Roles are nothing more than part of what? This paradigm of potentiality. So when we identify with any specific role, what we're saying is in this moment, my energy is aligning into this experience, thereby recognizing that it shall be directed toward an energy. And so that's, is that okay? Absolutely. There's the footnote. <laughs> All right. All right. No, it's, it's just a, a matter of taking a breath and recognizing that 
in this day where the focus is on motherhood and honoring mothers, it is important, yes, to honor and respect. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And we are inviting you to widen the aperture a little bit because May is a month of creation. And so it's a wonderful uh, alignment of the Mother's Day with the month of creation. You know, I want to remind us that we just came out of April, which is, is known as a month of resurrection. Creation involves that conscious choice, that choosing energy that says, I am here and I'm going here. Whew. And in order to go here in a healthy way, wherever you're here is, it calls on us to bring balance. Right? To balance the masculine and the feminine, to balance the nourishing with the directive, mm -hmm. to balance rest with action. Every form of balance is required in order to support healthy creation. Creation that does not steal from one in order to support another. Creation that is honoring and respectful and nourishing in harmony with, in service to. Wow. When we start adding those little phrases to our consciousness in harmony with and in service to, it invites us to lift out of any self-serving orientation and realize how the self serves. <laughs> Breathe that in. To realize how the self serves is just the, the shift from being self-serving. Breathe that in. It's a profound discernment, especially in this month as humanity is rebirthing. Yes. All of us are rebirthing. In this moment, we are a whopping, what, how many days? Eight days old. How perfect that we are together right now. Yeah, really, eight is indeed a divine number. And we are in this month of the double primes. And I, I want to bring that forward right I, now. I think we should because, you know, Shri, I was giggling going, boy, you're queuing up everything. So I'm going to jump right to the Ascended Numerology because... This is profound. And Shri, I want to bring everyone's attention. Let's go to the body. Look at the body there. The second chakra carries the number six in the energy of the physical form in this potentiality in the ancient system of the Magi in the ascended numerology. And that's all about balance, which is what yeah. Shri was just talking about. And, and why is that so important? Why am I bringing you there right now? Well, that is May 16th. May 16th is a 12 as a double six. So we stay at the 12. It's We're already at the 12 and we're at the 12 again as a second gong because of the double six. So this is not a full transit around the circle. This is literally an amp. And this is so powerful because remember that uh, on the 12th, when we begin, or excuse me, on the 10th, when we begin, we will be at the star, this 12th. And when this full beauty moon comes in, forgive me if I was confusing you, so I want to go back over this. On May 10, this week, right now, and, I, and the reason I'm feeling this is because we're really already in it, right? It's just going to anchor. But what's happened is that we have been pulling all of our divine energy from that infinite space that we have been with this since the opening of this month in the mirror, in the mirror of your truth chakra, the five, all of that, all of that energy that's been in the infinite is now coming crashing into your star consciousness, mm. which means that this week, this retrograde is go, go, go. And that even for those who have no idea what star consciousness is, would, would never want to know whatever, and as is their journey and their right to do, but the star consciousness is going to be so profound that, I mean, you could get a headache thinking about it. So the key is not to. And the reason that double six that I was sharing with Shri is so important is because as we hit this star consciousness, which remember is just above the third eye, right? About an inch or so above the third eye, usually where I have one of my lines right there. And so when we're, when we're in our star consciousness, that is the transcendent state of the vision of this potentiality through the I am here presence as the sea of neutrality, as the active emitter 
of the law of instantaneous manifestation. So I want you to just breathe that in because to unpack that and to say, well, hey, Carrie, you just said a whole lot there. How do I even understand what you just said? Well, if you really want to unpack that, let me explain 2022 again. Can we show that or is that able to be shown, Shree? Yeah, absolutely. I, it might be queued okay. up. Okay, let's, let's see if we have something queued up here. Um, the, it's the 2022 Mastery Presence. I don't see it on this side of the screen. We have two screens here, so I was looking over at the all other All right, one. I'm just going to drag it over. Okay, uh, the reason I want him to drag this over is because, first of all, get to shreeandkira.com. If you're new, there, there we go, there perfect. Go. Oh, God, I'll no, perfect. Actually, I'd rather, you're not it. How about we do <laughs> that in the middle and we'll do this, right? Isn't that a little better? There it is. Okay, so hopefully you are seeing between Shri and I right now. That is the Merkaba of self-ascension. That is your body in the energy of the self-ascended presence of you. That is what Avesa healing does. That is why Avesa exists to sustain the human form in its eternal presence, thereby creating the cocoon of reverse aging and revitalization as you sustain your chakras in each one of these suspended forms of the infinite presence. And again, that's why a base of balancings are so valuable because they, they help you, they, they get your body acclimated to holding that frequency, thereby you become the emitter of the divine galactic blueprint, which is actually behind this. These are, this is the divine galactic blueprint and the self-ascended chakra portrait together. Because when your heart center ignites, that sea of neutrality is able to come forward. And this Merkaba, which is in the high aspect ratio, calls forward the energy and the co-creative power and momentum that is the golden pyramid of 2022. We put this out there at the end of last year, right? This, is, this was right there. This was the golden pyramid of 2022. And through that, the teacher and the mentor and the healer arise outside of the victim consciousness of this potentiality so that you are able to sustain the peace, love, and joy of this physical body in harmony, in oneness with your divine mastery presence. So breathing that in, that was your two-minute overview of the mastery of the yoga of self-ascension, and you can unpack all of that at shriankara.com if you need to. <laughs> Lots of reference material at yeah, shriankara.com. Lots. I want to come back to star consciousness. Please do. So The, the uh, thing I would like to share, a little bit of a teaching here for those of you that want to uh, come along on this, is that star consciousness is indeed a gateway to the soul state of being, that yes. mastery state of being yes, that yes, is beyond yes. all of the turbulence of emotionality, the turbulence of reactivity and, and frankly being invested in the outer world. And so let's just together touch into that energy because I, I think you'll find it quite useful and wonderful to further develop it. So, Third eye is, everyone understands, right up here, uh, uh, kind of between the eyebrows, maybe just a tiny bit higher. Right there. And what I invite you to do right now, if it's safe for you to do so, is just close your eyes and tap your third eye, and then stop tapping and just feel that space. Just connect with it. Breathe and relax. Ajna. Just connect with that space. Nothing to do but notice. And now, Notice the space on your forehead above the third eye and just sort of send your consciousness up a little bit. And then when you're ready, bring your fingers up there and just find that spot. Your fingers will land there pretty automatically yeah. and begin to make a little circle there. Just a little tap, a little circle to kind of awaken perception of your star consciousness. Mm -hmm. Just feel that. Close your eyes again. Breathe in. Stop tapping or touching and just feel it. And then think about all those wonderful photos, drawings of ascended beings where they show a, a, a jewel or a ray of light coming out of that part of the forehead. And you can smile that that's you. It's like there is a little flashlight right there, a little ray of light that you can start to connect with and magnify. Now, the key with star consciousness is to recognize that this is indeed a point of stabilization, a point of divine connection, and will assist you 
as you want to further be in the sea of neutrality. Mm. It will assist you. So, back to the ascended numerology, that 12 energy. We're going to put it up again, but keep breathing. Now, as you're activating your star consciousness, and, and sincerely, go to Sri and Kira, uh, official Sri and Kira YouTube. Number one, subscribe. But go to our Please. channel, YouTube, yeah. official Sri and Kira. There is a star consciousness video there that walks you through this ignition step by step. Because in order to sustain fifth dimensional presence, you really need to ignite your star consciousness. Remember that this, the third eye is bound by the perception of this potentiality. All of the gurus wrote about the limitation of the seeing. Mm -hmm. And we are at a moment where we are able to see while carrying a body of form. It is the true ascended presence and it is here right now, guys, it's available. All right, there it is in the May ascended numerology. So look at that star consciousness again. That's happening right now. On Tuesday, when that Mercury retrograde begins, it is go, go, go. It is everything has come together. Everything is being remembered. Everything is, I want to use the word reloaded. Yeah. And so it's going to be an amplification and we are already in it. This isn't waiting for the tent. It's just going to amp. It's going to anchor. And because it's anchoring in the star consciousness, look over at the wheel. We come out of that infinite. We've all been hanging out in infinite creation, which has been extraordinary. Now it's like a comet coming out of the universe and it is crashing into you saying, go. And it's coming in at the 12 o'clock hour. And this is really important because on, on May 16th, that energy is going to hit the 12 again. And when it does, it's like a double hit in that energy. So it's going to amplify over this period from the 10th all the way through the 30th of the month. And that's why I was giggling about the eight being today, mm -hmm. because you see that we literally end this day on the eight. And it's all about the lotus chakra. I mean, and this, this, this month, it's all about that lotus <coughs> ignition because we are in a month of choice. Now, as you bring your hands to your heart, I, I really want to invite you. There, there's something to share here that that for those of you that are in divine mastery presence right now, you know, in May, you're getting those messages every single day. And, and you notice how quickly we are amplifying, how quickly we are up leveling and that we are all in a moment where we are all being invited to up level faster than we would have had to in other experiences of this, of this similar potentiality. But the reality is, in the reality that we have co-created, that as lineage holders, when we all surfed here, we surfed this specific potentiality in sincerity, love, and presence to be of that highest service, right? And in that, of course, we would arrive at a 12 o'clock hour experience of potentiality. And for those of you that have been with our Sunday services and that are part of Monday Magic, and I would pray that all of you are part of Monday Magic. Join and if you're us. if you're getting the benefit of this on YouTube right now, you need to check out Monday Magic and really and really let yourself have an even deeper experience. So again, get to Shriankara.com. In this moment, what Shri and I have personally been experiencing over this May choice of humanity is that. The, the energy in this potentiality that has a majority and has shifted a balance. And this is not a, pol a political thing or, or any, do not ever read into us on that level. We are talking transcendent. What we are talking about is that the energy of this planet is out of balance. And so because there is this energy that's saying, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, Everything that, that I'm afraid of is literally manifesting before you all now. And the sea of neutrality, which Sri and I are sitting in today, has started producing the new geometries. And because of that, and because of the momentum, because of the sincerity, the love and the presence, and forgive me for taking a moment, but I am celebrating Sri and I for 20 years. We have lived steadfast commitment, focused awareness, and complete trust. We have had every arrow slung at us. We have had every hatchet thrown at us. We have had 
every single thing try to pull us apart as a couple. We have had people try to kill us. We have had black magic thrown on us. We have had more lies told in the name of us. And that's why in 2010, we said enough. We will just do the work. And that didn't stop it, right? And that didn't stop it. And then, just, and, I'm, and we're sharing this with all of you right now because we know you're going through it too. Since May 1 has come forward, people that we love, I mean, really love, and more than one, have, are, are in so much pain and so addicted to their anger and so addicted to the way that it has always been that they have literally, literally done everything they can to stop all of this. And I mean all of this. I want you to remember that your donations, your Shakti Exchange, we are a community. Everything we do comes from all of us. Shri and I donate, unlike any other person you're gonna find out there, we are the real thing, which is why we have all this coming after us. But when you donate to our foundation, number one, you get that actual legal 501c3 receipt if you want it in the United States, right? Number two, you are feeding people. You are sheltering people. You are actually doing things that matter. You are helping us to demonstrate miracles so that we can bring this laser, this, this Egyptian healing rods with this light technology infused where no one needs to be ever treated like anything less than the divine one that you are. And so on this day, on the 8th of May, as we are collectively as humanity birthing again, we want you to know that our steadfast commitment, our focused awareness and our complete trust has never been greater. And that we have never been more unified. We have never been clearer. And we are absolutely aware that the choice of May will determine whether or not June happens in the way that we are all living right now. And so I want you to breathe that in because it's being shared from the depth of love that says, when will you invite yourself to let go of an ego that would claim on to everything everybody wanna tells you, every infomercial bullshit, every person that's telling you they've got a magic pill or a magic potion or a magic letter. You know what the magic is? You, you're the magic. And over the past two weeks, and forgive me guys, because I really do want to take this moment. Over the past two weeks, I have met billionaires who don't give a shit about you. I have met people who you know, who are out there and have followers by the millions and all they care about is how much money you can send them, how much you can do to make them rich. So if you're going to donate, why not donate somewhere where you're really helping people? Why not help us help more people? Just inviting you to look in your heart because I know it sucks to look in the mirror and see yourself. I remember the day, I remember the moment when I had lost everything again. <laughs> I'm so freaking stubborn, I had to do it twice, right? <laughs> and I remember in that moment realizing that the only thing I had in common with everything was me. And that was the day my victim consciousness ended. And I stood up and I walked through my fear. And I said, you know what? I know what I am. I have always been this. I spent half my life trying to deny who I am for the sake of a dollar or the sake of whatever society wants me to do. And what I know is that I am so grateful for every single moment of it. And I invite you to know that about your journey. Be grateful. I'm grateful for every one of those ex-husbands. I'm grateful for every one of those experiences. Every, every single thing that brought this moment in where this body has now reversed aged 30 years and is able to sustain the presence that each of you is ready to sustain as well. 
And so Shri and I, in this moment, and I know Shri wants to share a little bit as well, we had talked about would we share this today or not? And we wanna share with all of you right now, it's a month of choice. You know, we're going to Mexico in June. And, and I do wanna close with this and then I'll let Shri share a little more and, we, and we're ready to take all of your questions and, and sharings as well. This land in Mexico, once again, this land has been so covered by greed. This land is so incredibly powerful. It must be in the hands of those who are wanting to protect it at a time when protecting sacred indigenous grounds is becoming very, very hard. And Sri and I now kind of get that's why we are magically the custodians of these magical or authentic properties in three countries, because North America is breaking. And so as the chalice, look at this. The stem is South America, and what holds the cup in is Central America, and that last piece is Mexico. And so for this chalice to not break, it must be in a firm foundation, and we now know why in 2010, we walked away from all of the politics, and we walked away from all of the promises and the big contracts and all the money from all of those that are still controlling you in places that you would have no idea. And we said, we're going to just do the work because we knew this time was coming. So two things I really encourage you to remember is that when Shri and I are in the equinox in June, please, if you can be there, be there. Mm -hmm. This matters. This really matters. And we put together a really cheap trip. There are some partial scholarships available. Flying in and out of Mexico is cheap. It's not expensive, but oh, there we are. We are going to be, and we have been promised some big broadcast time as well, June 20, 21, and 22. We will first broadcast on June 20th from Chinsen Itza, which is the, the Itza Maya kingdom. And we will be with Cesar Mena, who for the first time will be rising again as the true leader of the Itza Maya. And then from there, the very next day, we will be going to Mayapan. And we will be there to activate the ascension energy to stabilize the chaos that is happening in Central, and, and Central America and, and Mexico right now. And then on the 22nd, we will arrive at our land. And when I say our land, it's your land. Our land, meaning the land of the indigenous people, the land that has been, God bless Umbotsman, who tried to do everything he could to protect this land and who at the end of his life was so desperate for money and so sold out and so corrupted that he hurt a lot of people around him, which is the truth, that the land was covered in lawsuits, that all of the wisdom he brought forward is dead. All the people we talk to that carried the wisdom don't care. And that's, that's, Guys, it's why the world is where it is right now. It honestly is the never ending story. It honestly is the princess to bride because the darkness right now has got a lot of money. It's got a lot of power and it's terrified that if we succeed together, that this cycle will actually be a moment where the light succeeds, <laughs> where we really can do this which is why the energy of depression, giving up, and especially greed, jealousy, and competition. Yep. Greed, jealousy, and competition. So thank you for hearing Sri and I, because we're at a moment where all of our gloves are off. We are in perfect physical condition. We have survived all the attempts to take us off the planet, we now know who's controlling the strings of what they want you to believe. Even in the world of ascension, they control who you see and who you hear. And we're just like, you know what? Fuck you. We're doing it. You cannot, you cannot stop this ascension. And I am in this moment a living example right now of a body that transcended that experience. And I know what that can sound like. The eye that is left that illuminates this body that has still the energy that keeps my third, first, second, and third chakra going. You need to know too, because you're ready. 
You, you can do this. It's not hard, but it does require some focus and no one can give it to you and you can't buy it. You have to actually do the work. Mm, powerful. Thank you for sharing that. So let's pause for a moment and just let in what Master Lady Kira Ra has shared because she truly has been pulsing that energy of truth and invitation. We are all being called up. Yes. It's interesting, uh, as I observe my own process, I am a human being in a male body. And uh, I, I was, I was um, noticing this morning that I was feeling fairly emotional. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first thing that happened was that sense of wow oh you know the the emotion of the grief and the sadness i had a sense of my positivity was was declining and when that happens i just invite you to reflect when you feel that kind of depressed energy the grief energy the sense of i don't know about the future where do you go with that because it can trigger a cascading series of self-defeating thoughts and amplification of these coarser emotions that are kind of a spiral, are they not? And so I paused for a moment and I was breathing and I, I got out my pen and paper, which is a good idea for any of us to, how are you going to work with what's present? Go old school, it's really fun. I, I like pen and paper. Mm -hmm. At any rate, um, it only took an instant once I decided to look what in me invited this to be. Now take a breath and write that down because that's a magic bullet. There is, there is the phrase that invites your true, the empowerment of your own self-ascension. What in me invited this to be? What in me invited this to be? And play with it. What in me invited this to be? Oh, what in me invited this to be? Play and, with it. And for me, what I discovered is these weren't my feelings. It only took an instant to just go, wait a minute. The emotion, the, 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 yeah, that I would. <laughs> that is a technical term. <laughs> Look it up. I hope you it, wrote that one down. It, I think it starts with an NG. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the junk I was feeling that I immediately, my first reaction was, oh, I, I'm failed, I'm hurt, I'm... Victim consciousness I'm, my response? My first reaction was, something's wrong with me. Victim consciousness. Then I paused, took a breath, and went, oh, wait a minute. And, and, and then, you know, what did me invited this to be? And I realized that I had absorbed into my ecosystem the planetary thought body, the free-floating grief and yes. fear... Yes. That is yes. everywhere <laughs> on this globe. Wow, Sri, nailed it. And so, wow, there was an immediate, as soon as I saw that, it was like, oh, I, it was, it was this kind of innocent, I, I'm in love with the world, sort of whatever comes, okay. And I was doing my share of filtering that, but I realized this was not kind to me to take this in. It was not appropriate for me to be the one to process this. It was appropriate to notice it, to clear it, and to send a blessing out. That's what I noticed, and that's what I chose to do. So I am here. I, I want to take this just a little further. Please do. Every one of you out there has had a similar experience. I know you have because we're breathing the same energetic atmosphere. And how many people do you know, and maybe yourself included, are on antidepressants, are frequently uh, crash and burn time, uh, are frequently Cycles. reaching out to friends for emotional support. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with any of these. Please get this. This is part of being, you know, taking care of yourself. It's the journey. But take a look at this. The number of antidepressants, the number of uh, people who are self-medicating, the whole issue with drugs, alcohol, pain killers, and all of that stuff, these are all symptoms that we're all working too hard to clear that which was created elsewhere. 
Right. Yeah. How many people do you know have such beautiful hearts and are so loving and in service, and yet they're constantly battling with depression and dysfunction in their lives? They're doing more than is theirs to do, and it's time to wake up to that yes. and take some steps. Now, along those lines, I want to put up one more graphic. I've been reading some of the things coming in. We're going to get to you in one moment because as I was reading this, I wanted to bring you guys back here again. And I, I, and the reason I want to bring up the seven polarities of free will again is because number one, forgive me, but I do have to toot my own horn here. Shri and I put this out in 2015. We took a lot of flack for putting it out then, but if you go back and you look at it, it was completely spot on. And the reason I'm putting this in front of you is because from 2015 through 2021, the forces of free will, these seven polarities, which are fear on the one side, which is the force of destruction that keeps density. Density is actually a destructive force. That's why by its own configuration, people would kill in the name of a God because in and of itself, it's the force of density. On the other side is the force of co-creation, which is the self-ascension, which can only happen through the trust that comes in through the knowing of that which I am. And I want you to look at those seven ascension energies that we have been up leveling with over the past years. 2015, <laughs> peace. 2016, empowered. 2017, flow. 2018, compassion. That was when on, on that year, 2018, moving into 2019 was when the fifth dimensional space was made much easier for more beings to be present with at a quicker rate than ever. Because from there, we went to the love, then the trust, and then the abundance of everything. And all seven of those polarities, all seven of those energies, we are, here we are, 2022, da, 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 here's your basket, right? So all of that from 2015 through 2021, when humanity was on that escalator, was leading us to this May birth moment. Now, what Sri just shared is really important, and then we're going to jump to what you guys have been sharing before we go any further. And that is, I want to show you this. The there it is, the support framework. We are at a moment right now, and today I think is so beautiful in the birth of humanity, where through our steadfast commitment, our focused awareness, and our complete trust, we ignite a framework of support that can only come by sustaining the balance of the masculine feminine within, whereby we are in that complete trust to sustain the Taurus field of creation as the active choice of humanity. And we are in an active choice moment in May right now. Victim or mentor? Those are your, it's right there. The humanity is saying hello. So Sri, may I read some of this? Oh, absolutely. And uh, we'll start. So, so um, let's bring a hand to our heart because this is our service. This is our time. We do have more to share with you. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to start with Baldevi's question because it ties into more of what we had to share and gives us a reason to start helping all of you get into this conversation. So hi, Baldevi. Question. Are there tips on how to work to surf this retrograde? I'm excited, but my friends are literally terrified. Okay, first tip, let go of the terror and dance. Get your friends to a party. I would bring them in on the 10th and go, woo hoo, put on the music and have fun. Teach star consciousness, go to our YouTube channel, ignite that. This retrograde is only scary if you're afraid to look yourself in the mirror and many are. So the best way to do that is to be nakedly authentic, which is what Shri and I do. And so I want to just share one more time the May calendar, because as you look at the May calendar, remember that that Merkaba is fully illuminated. That's that Merkaba Shri and I showed you earlier, the one that was between he and I, right? It's a month of choice in the energy of our eternal presence of life. And it's all about the masculine feminine coming in as this unified field of support for the ignition of the sea of neutrality to sustain humanity. This is why the June equinox matters so much. This is why being in Mexico, in the Yucatan, in this sacred land, building these ceremonies matters. And I really invite you to look into your heart because there are four spaces left and sincerely i know you're one of them so just be there when you look at that calendar 
this coming Saturday, Shri got rid of it just as I was ready to tell you. It's okay. This coming Saturday, May 14, is massive. Yeah. Because here's the next thing about surfing this retrograde. It's all about saying yes to you. It's all about trusting you. And it's all about being in community with those that it can uplift you. Because this retrograde, and this is why some people are kind of freaking out. Next Sunday. Mark your calendar next Saturday and Sunday and Monday. You actually need to mark your calendar 14, 15, 16. Okay. And here's why. On the 14th, Sri, if you would show them, uh, we are going to be coming together again with our program. I, I have no idea where the, the slide is for our program coming on May 14th. Um, oh, I so, don't think we have that here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, then uh, send it abundance. That's not it. There it is. Ah, okay, but it. okay. So on May 14 and May 21 are the two actual attunement journeys to finalize the ignition of the law of instantaneous manifestation. Now, this is extremely important because Chief Phil was already there at the first one. Cesar Mena will be here. And Cesar, of course, will be speaking in Spanish. However, we will be fully translating everything. But he will be coming in as part of that lunar eclipse that will happen on the 15th. So on the 14th, we will be diving into the anomaly of a free mind. And I want you to really breathe that in because many, like your friends, Baldevi, who are terrified, their minds are no longer free. They're terrified because they're cruising the internet and everybody else and their brother is telling them why they should be ready. Be ready. Do this. This is why. And I love St. Germain in the original I Am series. St. Germain said this, quoting St. Germain directly from the I Am series, more destruction of consciousness has been done on this planet and this potentiality due to astrology than any single system of divination. And forgive me. And then you might say, but Kira, why are you talking about the Mercury retrograde? Because this Mercury in this potentiality in the way that it affects the consciousness of humanity is why it's integrated. But you notice we use no other astrology. When people identify themselves as an astrological sign, you've just put yourself in a box and a container and decided that's all you will ever be. And until you grow through that, it's all very accurate. And many like the idea that every morning they give their power away. How about every morning you wake up and claim your power? Imagine your life then. Mm -hmm. Shri, anything else about the retrograde we want to share before yeah, we Yeah, it's forward? Right, renew, reinvent, rebirth. You know, Remember and do. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Truly, truly an opportunity to realign more fully with your authentic essence. Yes. We all are on a spiritual journey. You know, let me read this question because it's, it. it's tying into what you're saying. All right, go That's for it. That's why I mean, it's perfect. I just love this. So this is from Mona. Hi, Mona. And Mona's saying, how do I keep that state of being that does not fake and skim through the surface and, and go really deep into the depth of this experience? How I can get over the pretenses and using everything as an excuse? Mm. Powerful question. Powerful question. Shri, do you want to jump in? Because that's sure. really where you were going. That's why I wanted to sure. read that now. You know, it, it's important to recognize, to recogitate, to recognize. Cogitate, wow. That's okay. to rethink that we are not our thoughts. And so every thought you have has a corresponding energetic pulse that we call an emotion. Mm -hmm. You can't have an emotion without a thought. You can't have a thought without an emotion. Yeah. So consider this dance of, I've noticed a uncomfortable feeling. Then the thought is there's something wrong with me in whatever form that shows up. In victim consciousness. This mm -hmm. is all the affirmation of vict everything you said. It's all just about being aware of the victim consciousness. And, and that zone of consciousness is mm -hmm. prevalent. Yeah, it, it is this potentiality. And so when you just have that knowledge that, okay, every thought and emotion have a, a dance partner. Right. And they reinforce each other into kind of a spin cycle looking for other, <laughs> other aspects that dance similarly. So if we activate there's something wrong with me, then we start looking for more evidence that there's something wrong with me. We'll find other flaws. Right? And we usually <laughs> yeah. find partners and relationships that will validate that as well. Now, there is an automatic protection mechanism 
that is wired in, in human consciousness that says, oh, no, no, deflect that out. There's nothing wrong with me. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> and, and the world. And, th and, and this the is, them. The and, them. And this is, and I don't want to spend too much time on this because we have a lot of questions and okay. it's a spin cycle. But the, here's the spin cycle. This is how you get to conspiracy, obsession, backwards consciousness, holding on to things that are no longer uh, expansive because that's the cycle of fear and it's self-propagating and it will do everything possible, as Archangel Zodkiel says, to steal your joy. And so because the mind is so powerful, you can see how this spin cycle will create whole groups and realities. Exactly. Here's your magic right here. All right, here it comes. Here's your hand. You bring this hand or this hand or both to your heart and mm. simply breathe. Right. And if you can, if you know the Ave Sa breath, breathe the Ave Sa breath and breathe and center and anchor your heart. Mm. And from there, we observe yeah. the cycle. Take a breath, let it go in whatever fashion you can. There's a beautiful exercise at Shrinkira.com called the container. Visit it. They're all free. It works. So just go to shriankira.com, number one, register for this Saturday, okay? Because it does work, okay? And so we don't need yeah. to address uh, uh, negative thinking with another thought. No. Nope. What we need to is shift the music that's playing. So we move out of that music into the heart center, there it is. into trust, into breath. And from there, I am peace. I am. From there. I am love and I am here mm. and be in the presence of that mm. without needing to fill the mind with anything further. Just be in the beingness of it. Really feel that. Be in the beingness. Now, feel that again. Take in a breath. Because to be in the beingness means the mind has to let you. Remember that the mind is a sly pirate and it will do everything it can, everything it can, until the mastery presence of the you comes forward to reassure that you are here, right? So this is important to understand because in this moment, all of the new geometries, and you can kind of see Sri and I are just gonna move a moment, but these are one of the new geometries. All of the new geometries are revealing themselves. And, and remember that we are all right now floating this sea of neutrality in the ignition of those three triple full moons that were February, the March equinox, and April. So right now, while humanity is floating, that June equinox is looming. And it's in a direct alignment right here with what, if you look in our background, there was the March right there coming through these new geometries is another center. So what are all these other geometries? Well, Jess can pop into the chat because I'm not sure where you can see the video, but next week, so on May 14, we will come together in the evening of the full moon lunar eclipse. We will dive into the first attunements into the law of instantaneous manifestation as you anchor ascend abundance into your life through the ascended being that you are. Get ready for the miracles. They're mind blowing and it's your time. And then on the 15th, on Sunday, one week from today, live on this show, we will break ground on the Pyramid of Peace. Now, this Pyramid of Peace, I want you to bring your hands to your heart, is this geometry as through my beautiful husband and all of the ascended realms that have reignited his mastery of pyramid building. You know, we've built pyramids all over the world for the past 20 years but this one's different. So Shri, I think you should talk about the Pyramid of Peace and I you do want to share with all of you. Oh, can we show the movie? Okay. All right, well, you know what? Um, what time is it? You guys want to see the movie? It's all of two minutes. Let's show you the movie. All right, all right. And then, then you have a nice visual. Yeah, and so we'll, we'll give you a little bit of a, a, a thing about it. There we go, let's show the movie. I didn't know we had where, it. Where did it go? I have no, oh, pyram there it is, Pyramid Movie. We do have it. All right, guys, bring your hand to your heart because this <laughs> matters for the world. We'll be right here. Let's watch this we'll together. We'll talk about it in a minute. Here yeah, we go. Let's celebrate.
we so hope you enjoy that. next Sunday, live on this show, we will be breaking ground. And this is truly our field of dreams. Part of our May has been some of the things that we talked about earlier on the show. Whatever it takes, we're getting it built because this moment for peace for humanity is not guaranteed. Building this pyramid will be the only one like it in the entire world. It is 22 meters tall, 72 feet. It will have all of the elements. It will include and celebrate indigenous architecture, Mother Gaia herself, and being built here on the equator sends the resonant energy of peace throughout the world. And we pray that you can join us in this celebration, for it is our goal. This will be the Master Avesa Oasis experience. And from this Master Avesa Oasis, all of the other oasises will birth as this beautiful crystalline moment of peace reigns. Together we are better. Yes. And as we lift our consciousness together and step out of our own way and allow ourselves to expand beyond that which seeks to keep us limited, Miracles happen and they begin this Saturday right here with Shreen. Go to shreencare.com. Make sure you are there. The more that can anchor into I am here as the sea of neutrality through the gift of the anomaly of a free mind, the greater we can bring humanity at least to the June equinox, where we will then be on our next journey to the September equinox when we will finally stabilize. Mm, powerful time indeed. Yes. Your energy, your conscious choice makes a difference. Mm. I think more than any other prior time in our history because the those that are here in body, those that are alive at this time are indeed awakening. And one of the things that Archangel Zodkiel mm. smiled uh, years ago and said, Sri Ramka, all beings are awake. What they are awake to can be can differ. So breathe that in for a minute. All beings are awake. It's just, what are they awake to? And therein is your choice. Right? As we breathe in using the heart as the foundation yes. of the ascended state of being, as we breathe into our ascended heart, yes. relaxing the Velcro of the lower chakras, being available then to lift into the higher communion. Mm. We radiate a light of rebalance, renewal, and healing into our world of shared experience. And this retrograde is honestly a blessing in the gift of your divine ascended presence, the self-ascended being that you are. It is a moment to say thank you. It is a moment to release that which would have held you back to say goodbye. This was why these two sessions had to be in this moment in May. They had to be inside the retrograde. Yeah. This Saturday, we're getting rid of those chains. Free uh, the freedom. Let your, let your mind be free again. Do not be an anomaly. Allow yourself to be you, to sustain the fullest vision of your life experience. And this week, when your heart is open, please go to shriyatahira.com and offer your donation, whether it's your donation to be there this Saturday, whether it's your donation to help us get this pyramid together, because it's happening. It will finish by September 1, one way or another, <laughs> whatever. Help us build more houses for more people. Help us just sustain the clinics. Sustain all as you are sustained, because when we give with an open hand, the flow is limitless. And we know that you are that. You are that limitless flow. And Shri, I just want to share a few of these beautiful yeah, celebratory sure. comments here uh, from Kyla. Wow, this is all so deep. Thank you for the sincere sharing. Baldevi, Kira made the choice we must make. Be happy, not right. You know, <laughs> the day we got married, I, I really had that conversation with Shri. I would so much rather be happy. Um, Pamela, I love your strength. I love your passion, sister. Right on. Love yours too. And brothers and all of us together. Lots of beautiful uh, namaste hands coming in from lots of people. I relate to you guys. So good to hear you speak. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Thank you so much. And um, here we have uh, about the pyramid. Okay. Uh, so Purple Sparkle Felicity is talking about the pyramid of peace right on. That's and it. this is really important because remember, this, this pyramid was first designed by Alexander Golo. Tree has taken it to a whole new level. There were only two. And the big one was just recently, a couple months ago, or I don't know, a little longer a little ago. Longer ago. It, it, it 
fell, it collapsed. It literally collapsed, and there's only one. And so the balance will really be profound. Uh, oh, Baldevi, I will be there one day. Yes, you will. We know that's happening. Uh, <laughs> Carrie Ann, yay for the Pyramid of Peace. So glad Shrink here are building it. Should be one in every com community. Yes. There will be. Yes. That's why this is the master. So in the Avesa International, in the Avesa Oasises that are going around the world, every single one will have one of these pyramids. Not this height, but yes, imagine that. We're even looking at making um, kits where people can have them in your home, and where you can have grid. them in your backyard. We're grid the planet. And we'll start, you know, really raising this energy. So help us. It's all about this master pyramid because this master pyramid needs to condition the materials to bring them into your backyard and then wow imagine the grid of peace imagine the grid of illumination all right um kiwaba says so beautiful and i'm absolutely loving the dragons and the hearts and all these emojis they're just too beautiful and uh sheree here's one what does this say? I can't read anymore. Okay. <laughs> My <laughs> eyes are going, I cannot this read anymore. This is from Mylan. Uh, I am so thankful for your guidance, Sri and Kira. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I experienced the law of instantaneous manifestation for the first time and connected with two beings on such a level, it oh. felt like a new dimension opened. Most likely it was. Yes. Because that's what's happening. This pyramid of peace, when this, do we have Shri very quickly just to show them, just a teaser, be with us next week, but make sure you're also with us. What are you uh, for? The new, the new um, geometry. Um, you just, you want to make sure that you are with us Sunday because this geometry opening on All the right, planet now, it there it is. This is Hang on a second, I got it. sustaining. This is the geometry, a lot more to share, but that geometry is now sustaining the ninth dimensional portal activation where we can lift and be the witness again. Thereby, more people will be able to ascend into their divine mastery presence than has ever been possible before. However, it's happening at a moment of such deep imbalance that those who are ready to will frequently fall because when their greatest power is igniting, so will the ego come forward for that final moment. So be with us Saturday. Yes. Be here May 14th, be here May 15th, and be with us the 16th. Please visit SriAndKira.com. Take a look at the uh, yes. registration link and invite yourself to up-level. And help us get humanity to June 15th. There are four spaces left. It is important that that perfect balance comes together. Yes. Are you one of the four? Because humanity is reaching out right now. We love you. Namaste. Thank you for joining us at Shri and Kira Live. To have your questions answered, send us an email to guest at shriandkiraradio.com and check out more information at shriandkira.com. See you next week. Namaste.